Ed from Pinball Mayhem here. Today I'm going to be rewiring my Arkanoid. Uh, this Arkanoid uh, is in a Tron cabinet and it came that way. I ended up buying it about five, six years ago from uh, one of the online uh, buyers and sellers and it was already pre-converted to uh, Arkanoid. And I wanted an Arkanoid in a cool cabinet. I was going to go for a Gorf. This came up, it was working and the price was right and it actually has a decent amount of the original art was on it. The side arts is the Romstar sticker and um, the marquee was originally uh, just the Argonoid cutout uh, conversion. And so what I did is I uh, had this uh, worked with a uh, designer and had this designed up to look like the Tron. It was a copy of the Tron, but I threw the NCOM logo in here because I am a fan of the movies. And um, <laughs> Uh, that uh, turned out real well, looks good backlit. Now, when I got it home, the control panel was once again wrapped with the, the ROM star and all the stickers and plexiglass, and someone cut a hole bigger than the, the spinner to get this, it through without taking it apart like you're supposed to. So I ended up doing a lot of welding. The control panel was shot as well as this plastic here, some of the brackets. They were cut up to the point where, uh, yeah, a lot of the stuff that was, is required originally to put them back together was gone. So, um, <clears throat> I ended up taking this apart and I worked with a, uh, a different uh, arcade uh, supplier and we removed the text, we moved some of the stuff around just enough so I can get it to line up, but I also made sure the buttons lined up in the spinner and the, uh, the joystick holes because uh, the start buttons, the, the, those holes are still there in the control panel original location so I could use that, but I wanted to remove the text on how to play. That just didn't, uh, just looked a little goofy and make sure the spinner was centered in relative to the joystick and the spinner hole. Uh, and I also removed any of the, uh, welded up and removed all the, uh, uh, the, the posts. Now, let's see if I can get this out, it's a little sticky. There we go. So, uh, I ended up welding on new posts that I don't have any, I, I welded up the holes. I hate, um, the carriage bolts that show through. It's just, just annoying. Uh, so this was painted and rewrapped and turned out really good. So, uh, what I want to do is, I'm just going to place that, be careful, I don't want to break the board. This is my box of Arkanoid. I have bootlegs in here, I have boards, I have manuals, uh, and I have copies or printouts of the important part. So, I want to have a cabinet that can play all three of the main Arkanoid games. Arkanoid, Tournament Arkanoid, and Revenge of Doe. Revenge of Doe is a JAMA, but Arkanoid and Tournament Arkanoid are both the same wiring, uh, pretty much the same board, but different uh, uh, different software on them. But um, I want them all to be in one. So you can get the jammer adapters and those cheap Chinese uh, switchers. And the thing with the with those is it powers up all the boards at the same time, which is puts stress on your power supply. It's also running the boards when they don't need to be run. I don't want that. So uh, what I went with is here. It is here is a. Uh, it's from Vector Labs. It is a four game JAMA selector. So I got the selector and here's what the JAMA adapter looks like and here are the, two, you know, the power cords that is gonna power it. So uh, you can have up to four games on here, but it doesn't just reduce you to JAMA because then you buy, this is not cheap, you buy the, these adapters and then you have to buy JAMA to Arkanoid adapters and that's just, that's just a lot of connections. Uh, when you don't need it. There's also a uh, ribbon cable that goes between these. Uh, it's in here. And um, so this is an example of a Stern Konami board that would plug into the same selection. I've been talking to the guy, uh, um, I believe it's Mike over there at Vector Labs, and he's um, developing a Arkanoid specific adapter for this system so you don't need any sub adapters. He is uh, shipping me a prototype and um, Hopefully I can, uh, this video is going to be made in multiple parts as I go through the stages. And uh, when I get the prototype, I'm hoping to put it in and be able to run it and get a second one and be able to rock and roll, be able to test it. So the first thing I need to do before I get, before that prototype arrives, because I, uh, I was supposed to have this already rewired, is I need to rewire this cabinet rather than the Arkanoid standard for JAMA. So it needs to have a JAMA plug on here. And then I can plug in uh, that board I showed you, or Revenge of Doe, which is right here, which is a JAMA connection, it says JAMA right there. So um, one thing when you're doing anything like this, especially a complete rewire, baby steps. 
So I'm going to do is I'm going to first put the JAMA plug in, wire it up, put the revenge of dough in, make sure dough works. Uh, make sure everything works, the coin, the lights, everything that's supposed to work, works with everything in the default location. Then I'm going to take dough off and I'm going to throw in pretty much this. Uh, here's my here's my harness I'm going to use. Uh, I got, a, uh, got that. Uh, I'm going to throw this in just with dough again. Make sure nothing changes when this goes in. And then I will be ready for when that adapter comes in, in which I will throw in that adapter board. Uh, I got a harness and uh, the one thing I like about this harness I got is uh, it came from RetroArcade.us and um, I paid a few bucks more than the cheapest one you could get. Came with enough wire. Plenty of wire there. Uh, the thing I really like is other than just Japanese characters on here, it actually has what they're supposed to be as, as far as the JAMA standard is. But it's going to be a little different because I got a uh, Revenge uh, Spinner game, which has a spinner, not uh, the not a buttons. You got uh, pretty much these two buttons, the fire buttons, are the same button. You got start player one, start player two, one button, and a spinner. But the spinner takes joystick left and right. So that's why I need to make sure I get those right. And if I have to swap them, I can swap them. But uh, it, that's what it takes for the Arcanite harness. And that's also what it's going to take for the Revenge of Doe harness. So I'm going to wire this in according to the Revenge of Doe harness and having the book or also I want to work with a photocopy so I can scribble on it without scribbling on the original manual to uh, to uh, you know be able to wire it. So what I'm going to do next is uh, let me open this up kind of show you a little bit a bird's eye view of what we're dealing with wiring wise. I'm going to grab the camera and uh, take a little bit of tour of it with you. So, here's the close-up of the control panel, uh, customize out, and um, you can see I got a plug, and I did have to, because these are backlit buttons, I had to run an extra set of wires to them. Uh, if you look, you can actually see the orange and black wire from the right button goes to the same button on the left. They are the same button. But uh, when, at the time I wired this, I didn't have any pins. I believe I may have some pins now. I like to throw everything through that connector. So that's one connector rather than one connector and two bullet plugs. I purposely left them long, but that should be my power. My power and my ground for the lights. That's going to be the first thing I do before I unplug this. If we look down in there, you can see another harness going towards the back. Carefully set this down. That is going to be from the coin door. I'm not sure how much of this is original wiring to Tron. I think it is. And you can see there's that connector, another connector. I'm hoping I have pins for it. If not, I'll have to order some. Um, if I don't have the coin door wired up to testing, that's okay. Somebody, as you can see, hacked in a push button. I actually have an uh, NCOM nameplate for the front, and this coin door needs to be restored. Um, this summer might be a good chance to take this apart, restore it, make sure the lights and everything work. And that's one thing, when I'm wiring this, I'm going to say, I want these lights to work. I better wire it so they work. And uh, I think originally these are 12 volts. So I got to decide what, el what voltage I want to give to them in case it's, it's, it's different. But this has definitely got to come out, probably get welded up, or maybe even replace the whole door. I got some bends here I'll have to take to the uh, to a, uh, some body hammers, get those out. But relatively in good shape. Um, so that's, that's my coin door. Oh, it's jammed up a token. Someone put them in the wrong slot. All right, let's move around to the back. I can show you. I got both the back covers off. And... Uh, there's an upper and a lower cover. Did I forget the flashlight? I think I did. Ooh, almost fell. Oh, I lost the flashlight somewhere in there. Sorry, guys. Um, so uh, we got our original power harness. This is the light behind the inner marquee. That is all original. Let's follow it down. And here's the right side. I got some uh, wire nuts here. I think this is a speaker. I'm going to have to check that to make sure it's wired right. Uh, anything that was done by someone else, recheck. We got our harness coming off of the board. Power comes in. That's a separate harness. Came with the um, came with the Arkanoid, and uh, the power goes to the block. I'm gonna try to find a flashlight.
Uh, I thought I had one out, but I moved it. Oh, here it is. All right, pack around. Okay, much better. Okay, you see the power harness? That is all. We got our wires here, which are twisted together. So I have a feeling this is two speakers in the top. It's kind of going to get a, a bird's eye view. I can always take these off, just a few screws to get a better view. And um, see the monitor plug plugs in and that goes directly from the harness. So that I can separate and just put a new housing in and plug it in. Not a, not a big deal at all. That's gonna be easy, nothing to cut. From this harness, I have a bundle of wires going forward. The controls, I'll see where those are spliced in and those uh, yellow and black are the power I ran. I can always rerun those. Um, that means it's 12 volts. We can see the blade power supply that was put in here and the original power brick and so somebody just cut the plugs uh well took ac from the transformer and ran it to that bad boy so i'm going to make sure that that's on the proper side of the transformer the isolated the non-isolated side we'll see uh i'm going to check some ohm range to make sure it's not uh it's not the monitor side of the isolation transformer and uh, go from there. So I think my first step is to, and you can see that's not a JAMA plug. You got your power connector and you got your, your controls and cut wires, I love it. So I'm gonna take this out first and uh, kind of get a plan of where I want three boards and the switcher assembly to be. I actually might start on the left. Well, I'm back. Arcanoid is rewired and working. I seem to have a little problems with the colors on the screen. I'm not going to worry about that quite yet. This is Revenge of Doe. I've never used this board. I'm happy that it was, works as I was told it was supposed to. I have one of my lights is not working, but that's just a bad bulb. I tried that out. Let me show you a little bit on the front side what I did for wiring. You can see I was able to splice all the new wires and crimp new connectors into the plug. I removed the... Um, free play button that was hooked up to service either way that had to go I'm gonna to have to cap off those wires still with something they're actually not hooked up to anything on the other side and um, uh, so the front side is all good I, was, uh, I did have to run one wire that was not in the harness go on the back side uh, where I got the Revenge of Doe board mounted to the right I had to run an additional five volt power because Arcanoid does need five volts for the spinner. And so what I did is I ran that into the harness and just looped it around in my uh, two zip ties. And then I ran that back out to the control panel. So those are the wires. I pulled out any wires off of the JAMA harness I did not need, like all the extra buttons and stuff. Those are on the bench. And let's, uh, the speaker I did hook up and I ended up um, splicing that back in, was just soldering the way it was, but with heat shrink rather than electrical tape. And uh, I did have to cut the wire, the, the plug off of the uh, new harness and actually put a standard 0.156 plug on for the monitor. Um, I don't know if that's contributing to my colors. I will see right now. I don't have a server switch mounted, so I um, still have to figure that out. That little board there, we'll talk about that next time. But for right now, my Arcanoid is rewired and playable again different board but it is playable which is awesome so um thank you guys for watching stay tuned for follow-up video on what the other board is and hopefully uh, some fun things uh on how that's working so uh, thank you for watching make sure to subscribe and follow for more and uh catch the follow-up